Uh, greetings everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Uh, welcome to Jesus to the World channel. Uh, my name is Tempo Maribate and I will be sharing the word of God with you today. And God bless you. Uh, this wonderful afternoon, I just want to talk about the presence of God. You know, power of being in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So, we'll be reading the word of God from the book of uh, Exodus chapter 33. And we read from verse 13 and verse 14. It says, Now therefore, I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, show me your way, that I may know you, and that I may find grace in your sight, and consider uh, that this nation is your people. Verse 14, And the Lord said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Uh, verse 15 says, Then he said to him, If your presence do, do, does not go with us, do not bring us up from here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, this is a story uh, where we have just read. The Bible says that there was a time where God appointed Moses to be the one uh, who will take his children out of Egypt. Now, the Bible here says that as Moses was busy pleading with God that, tell me your plans so that I may know that you are with me, you know. And God said to him, God said to him in verse 14, he said, My presence uh, will go with you and I will give you rest. Now listen to this child of God. Where we have just read, the Bible says that, uh, I, I believe that if we were to read the previous chapters, uh, uh, we would hear how Moses and the people of God, uh, uh, they, they somehow struggled, you know, along the way. It was not an, a, a, an easy release. It was actually not an easy journey for them, you know. And along the way, as they came across challenges, they came a point where Moses prayed to God and he said, Lord, uh, you know, just, the, just, just since you said you are pleased with me, you know, just, just, just tell me your plans so that I may know that you are with me, you know. Uh, I believe that the reason why Moses prayed this prayer, it is because of he felt that somewhere, somehow it was not easy for him and he, ne he needed uh, the guidance of God and, and God said to him, you know, my presence will go with you and as a result, I will give you rest. Remember the last time we spoke that come to me, all of you are tired and I will give you rest. Now today I want to say to you, child of God, uh, when you are in the presence of God, there is rest. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know that you are there, you are listening to me, and you are saying to yourself uh, that, you know, I've been in this kind of a problem for a long time now. You know, I've been, I've, I, I've been struggling uh, with the certain things, uh, you know. I don't know what is wrong and I might have an answer for you. My answer would be that uh, it is because of you were not uh, in the presence of God. Uh, and today I am making an invitation to you, child of God, uh, that come, come to Christ, uh, you know, come to his presence uh, so that you may always find rest. Uh, there, is, uh, there is rest in the presence of God. Uh, there is prosperity in the presence of God. Uh, let me tell you something about the presence of God. Uh, the Bible says that he is the omnipresent God. You know, the Bible says that David, he says in the book of Psalms 139, he says that, uh, uh, where can I go? Where, 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 where I can be able to hide from you? And he says, no matter where I can go, you will always be there. What does this tell us? It tells us that he is the omnipresent God. He is a God who is everywhere. He is a God who is always, he is God who is always with us when we, when we go through tough times. He is always there in our happy times. In whatever that we struggle with, as long as we are in his presence, we find rest. Let me tell you something. The presence of God does not mean or it does not substitute the tribulations and the trials in your life. But instead it simply means for as long as you are in the presence of God, there is rest. In other words, God begins to fight whatever that you are struggling with on your behalf. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. You need to be in the presence of God. The Bible says that Moses said to God, if your presence cannot be with us, then do not 
let us to live uh, do not let us uh, leave this place uh, you need the presence of God in order for you to conquer the Bible says that uh, Somewhere when Moses uh, was taking the children of God out of uh, or the, the children of Israel uh, out of Egypt, uh, the Bible says that they came across the Red Sea. Uh, and if the presence of God was not with them, uh, they were, the, 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 the Egyptians, uh, they were going to catch them. Uh, or those who were, who, who were going to try to, to swim uh, on their own, uh, they were going to drown. Uh, something bad was going to happen uh, because of with their own strength, uh, with their own power, uh, they were not going to make it uh, to the other side of the sea. I know that you and I we have heard of a sea before. I know that you and I somewhere somehow we have read uh, of a sea and we understand that the size of a sea it is not the size of a swimming pool. It is not something that you can just enter and then you swim from, the, from, from one side to the other. Instead the sea it is very big. You will get tired while trying to swim along the way and you will drown and as a result of drowning you will die but because of the presence of God was with the children of Israel the presence of God was with Moses the Bible says that God made a way where there was no way in other words when you are in the presence of God you use less effort like I said the child of God that the presence of God does not mean the absence of problems or anything that might trouble you, but instead it simply means that God, He is there for you. He is there to help you. God, He is there to open ways for you. Let me tell you something. God, He is everywhere. God is everywhere. As long as you acknowledge Him, as long as you acknowledge the fact that He is everywhere, and you experience, and you will also see for yourself that God is everywhere. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that God does not leave. He does not forsake his children. Maybe some of the things you are unable to conquer them because of you are not in Christ. I am inviting you, my brother, my sister. I am inviting you, my parent that run to Christ for in him, for in his presence, there is rest. You know the Bible says that my presence will go with you and as a result, I will give you rest. In God's presence there is rest. Let me tell you something you, you, you that is listening to me that you have tried with your own strength, you have tried, you know, with your own power, but you have only come to a certain level where you feel like you can no longer continue anymore and I am bringing you good news uh, that there is a presence, there is the presence of the most high God uh, where you can run to, where things will be easy for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Uh, God he is always uh, there with us. Uh, God he is always uh, ready to listen to us uh, as long as uh, you are in his presence, uh, as long as you are his child. Let me tell you something. The Bible says uh, in the book of Genesis chapter 39, uh, the Bible it talks about uh, a man of God by the name of Joseph. Uh, the Bible says that this man, uh, he was a great man of God. Uh, he was uh, chosen by God. Uh, but along the way, he met challenges. Uh, as, as much as he was a man of God, uh, but he met challenges along the way. Uh, the Bible says that it came to a point uh, where he was even arrested. Uh, but the Bible, uh, but the Bible in the book of Genesis, Genesis 39 verse 2 it says and the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man although Joseph was in prison the Lord was always with him although you are in sicknesses although you are you may be in death although you may be in any kind of a trouble in any kind of trouble you can name it the kind of trouble that you may find yourself in I am saying to you in the presence of the mighty God, in the presence of the almighty God, it is where you will find the rest. It is where you will become prosperous. The Bible says that Joseph was prosperous because of God was with him. God does not forsake. God 
does not leave his children. I am making an invitation to you that you join us, become one of God's children, so that you may know and find rest in him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let me tell you something, child of God. I know of a story from the Bible, from the Bible, from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 18. The Bible says that there was a man by, by the name of Saul. This man was a king. And the Bible says that there was a man again, a man of God, by the name of David. The Bible says that this man, David, he was chosen by God. He was loved by God. Remember, God anointed David when he was very young. He chose David when he was very young. But he did not, that, 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 that did not mean that things will be easy for David. The Bible says that it tells us that many were times where Saul tried to kill David but he failed. And the Bible says that he, there came a point where Saul began to be afraid of David. Let us read this First Samuel chapter 18 verse 12. The Bible says that and Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and was departed from Saul. Let me tell you something. Let, let me tell you something in child of God. There are certain things in life that you will never be able to conquer as long as you do not have the presence of God. As long as you are not in the presence of the Most High. I know of a story of a young boy who, who, who said he used to he used to be bullied back at school and the, and the, 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 the boy says uh, that there was a time where he got tired uh, of being bullied uh, and he went to his brother and he said my brother there are people that are busy bullying me at school and the young man says uh, that the, the, the brother would say to him let us go and confront them and when he got there with the brother he himself he was able to confront uh, his bullies uh, those people who were bullying him why because of the presence uh, of his brother now there are certain things uh, that, 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 that for you to conquer them, uh, for you to overcome them, uh, you need the presence uh, of God. Uh, and the people who were, bully, who were bullying uh, the small boy, uh, they were not afraid uh, of the small boy. Uh, they were not afraid of the English uh, that came of the small boy's mouth. Uh, but instead, uh, what made them to shake, uh, what made them to keep quiet when the small boy spoke, uh, it was the presence uh, of the father. Now there are certain things uh, that will automatically leave us. Uh, there are certain sicknesses uh, that will automatically leave your life uh, when you find yourself uh, in the presence uh, of the Most High God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know of a story of, of, of a three uh, young men who loved God so much. Uh, from the book of Daniel chapter 3, uh, the Bible says uh, that there were three men uh, by the name of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. The Bible says that they refused. Uh, they refused to bow down uh, to, a, to, to, to a God uh, that was made uh, with, you know, with their own hands. Uh, and the Bible says uh, they said to the king uh, that the God that we serve uh, we know that he is with us. Uh, we know that he will save us, even if he does not do so, but we will never bow down. You know, this tells the, you know, this, the, the, this criminal, they challenge me because of, I begin to understand that this man, they understood the presence of God. Now, in that moment, God, the Bible says that when they were, when they were put inside the fire, the fourth man appeared. It, it was not only the presence of God being felt, but it was the presence of God being seen. I know of a story of a man of God who used to pray like nobody's business. The Bible says that they wanted to stop him from praying. But this man, he continued to pray. He continued to believe in God. He continued to remain in the presence of God, regardless of what the king and the leaders of that place said. The Bible says that this man, he continued to pray. And the Bible says that there came a time 
where he was put into the lion's den. And the Bible says that because of the presence of God was with Daniel, because of Daniel was in the presence, the lion did not touch him. But let me tell you something. The lions, they were not afraid of Daniel. The lions, they can, as a matter of fact, we know that scientifically or 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 or, in, or, or biologically, they teach us that lions, they are the, they are the kings of the jungle, it, which means that they are not afraid of anything. So the lions, they were not afraid of Daniel, but instead, the lions, they felt the presence. The lions, they were afraid and they were terrified by the presence of God. The presence of God, it makes a difference. The presence of God speaks on our behalf. Behalf. The presence of God it, 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 it defends the, the, the presence of God defends us. The presence of God brings healing into our lives. The presence of God brings breakthrough into our lives. The presence of God brings the rest into our lives. I want to invite you, everyone that is out there listening to me right now, that run to the presence of God. For in the presence of God, there is healing. In the presence of God, there is the rest. Moses, he understood that he cannot conquer without the presence of God. And he said, if your presence cannot go with us, then don't let us leave this place. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm inviting you, my brother. I'm inviting you, my sister, that we have tried for a very long time now. And what did that get you? Nowhere. But I am bringing you good news that there is the presence of God. There is the presence where you can dwell. The Bible says, Psalm chapter 91, that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. The Bible says that they shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. You know, like a chicken, when it covers its cheeks, there is nothing that can come to the harm of the cheeks. As long as the chicken has spread its wings to cover the babies, that is the same way when we are in Christ. The Bible says that God, he covers us. Now the Bible says, says that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide in the shadow of, the, of his wings. In other words, when you run to Christ, when you when you when you when you come to a place where you begin to say that Lord, I have tried, I have tried to protect myself, but the people have injured me. I have tried to, to protect myself, but sicknesses they've injured me out there. Oh, now run to Christ. He is here. He is spreading his wings, waiting you for you to enter under his wings so that he may be able to protect you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is in the presence of God where you become prosperous. It is in the presence of God where situations begin to be afraid of you. Saul was a king, but he was afraid of David. Saul was not afraid of David because of the size of David. Saul was not afraid of David because of the age of David. Instead, Saul was a king, which means that he had access to armies. He owned, he had a lot of money. What my Lord, he, he could just command people to kill David. But even even when even then when, when he had everything, when he had all the money to destroy David, he was still afraid of David. Why? Because of the Lord was with David. All the situations that they will automatically be afraid of you when you are in Christ. They will come, they will try, but they will never win. They will come just to test your faith, but you will begin to remember and say it is written. The Bible says that when Jesus was tempted by the enemy, he said to him, it is written. Now even yourself when you are in the presence of God, when situations they begin to overwhelm you, you begin to remember that it is written that no matter where I can go, the Lord will always be there with me. The Bible says that his hand, it is not too short that it cannot save us. In other words, it does not matter whether you move from, you move from South Africa to America, the Lord will still be with you. 
even then it doesn't matter whether you go through the fires of life the Lord will still be with you even through that like he was with the men Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego the presence of God brings a difference in a man's life the presence of God it, 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 it terrifies everything that is in, that is that is actually troubled in your life you need to be in, you need to be in the presence of God you need this God in order for you to have rest in your life the Bible says my presence will go with you as a result you will have rest let me tell you something a great man of God but by the name of Joseph, even though God had chosen him, he still went through challenges. And those challenges, God was always with him. In prison, the Bible says that God was with him until he became a great man in a foreign, in a, in a foreign country. You see what God does? His presence, it, give, it makes us to be prosperous. His presence, it makes us to be favored. Listen to this. Joseph was favored in a foreign country, not because of not because of his looks, not because of the size of his body, not because of his age, but simply because of the presence of God was with him. Now I am here to tell you, my brother, my sister, I am here to tell you, my parents, I am here to tell you, my grandparents, that there is a solution for you. Whatever it is that you are struggling with, there is the presence of God where you can run to you know when you're not in the presence of God you don't know what you don't know what can happen to you actually actually anything can happen to you at any time why because of you are not protected but some of the things you have been going through and you have been asking yourself questions to say why why am I going through this what did I do to deserve this and somewhere somehow we have cases of people who commit suicide but I have a solution for you the Bible says that there is hope for the living for a death for, 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 for. A living dog, it is better than a dead lion. For as long as you are still alive, you can decide and say to yourself, I will not be one of those who commit suicide. I will not be one of those who think that this is the end of the world for me because of the things that I am going through. And you can decide and say, as for me from today, I will run to the presence of God. The Bible says that come to me God is always um, waiting for us uh, the Bible says uh, that when, when one sinner repents uh, there is joy in heaven uh, why am I quoting the scripture I want to show you that uh, it is not about the next person uh, the, 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 the next person uh, might not be going through what you are going through uh, it is you uh, who are going through that tough situation uh, it is you uh, who are being attacked by that disease uh, and I am here to tell you uh, that there is healing, there is prosperity, run to the presence of the Almighty God. The Bible says, my presence will go with you and as a result, I will give you rest. If your presence cannot go with us, Lord, do not let us do anything because of in your presence, you will be in, your, in your presence, we are safe. In your presence, we, it's where we find our healing. In your presence, it's where we become prosperous. Young as you are, as old as you are, it is not too late for the fact that you are still breathing. A, a, a living dog, it is better than a dead lion. It means that it, 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 we all know that uh, scientifically, we've been told that uh, a lion it is a very dangerous animal, uh, but if it is dead it is no use. Uh, nobody can be afraid. Uh, it can do no harm to anyone. Uh, even a dog it is better than a lion uh, if it is alive. Uh, so now for the fact that you are living, uh, it means that there is still hope. Uh, you can decide uh, and say, uh, even myself, uh, I will take a step. Uh, I am tired of doing it on my own. Uh, I need uh, to test this presence Ah, let me challenge you. Come and test the presence of God. And I guarantee you that it will work for you. Come and test for yourself. I can testify about the presence of God. I can tell you a lot about the presence of God. But I want you to come and test the presence of God. Ah, 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 for your 
yourself so that you may experience the power of God so that you may experience God changing things in your family God turning things around in your life hallelujah hallelujah the Bible says in the book of Revelation for I saw, I saw at the center of the throne a lamp which looked, which looked like it was dead. But the next thing I saw it being the very same lamp. That was the only thing that that, 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 that was waiting to open the scroll. In other words, when you are in the presence of God, well, it doesn't matter what, what the situations they do to you. And some of them, they will, they, it will be as if you are dead. But at the end of the day, you will be the one worthy of that promotion at work, worthy of that healing, worthy of that scholarship that you are looking for, worthy of that business that you want to start, only in the presence of God, only in Christ. My brother, my sister, run to the presence of God. The presence in the presence of God, there is prosperity. In the presence of God, there is everything that that you, that, 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 that you want for the Bible says that for he blesses us you know he blesses, gives us the desires of our heart when we are in the presence we are able to pray and say Lord this is what I want and God does it for us when we are in the presence of God I know that somebody out there is listening to me busy saying you know I've been hearing a lot for, 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 for a very long time now it's been long. I've been hearing about this Christ. Now I want to go and taste the presence of God. And I'm saying to you, run to the presence of God. Are you tired of it all? Run to the presence of God. My presence will go with you. And as a result, I will give you rest. I love you so much. And there is nothing that you can do about it. Shalom.